Hello and welcome back. Let's have a quick look at the multiple linear regression. So here is the equation for multiple linear regression. As you can see, it's quite similar to sim the simple linear regression equation. Here we've got the dependent variable, then we've got the y-intercept or the constant, then we've got a slope coefficient and independent variable, and then we've got more pairs of those. Then we've got another slope coefficient and independent variable, and so on, and another slope coefficient and independent variable. So basically we have as many slope coefficients as we have independent variables. Now going back to our example of uh, producing potatoes on a farm, we might want to predict how many potatoes we're yielding depending on how many kilograms of nitrogen fertilizer we're using, what the average temperature uh, in the season is, and what the millimeters, how many millimeters of rainfall uh, we've seen in the season. So the potatoes in this case, the <laughs> equation for potatoes would be, uh, for example, eight tons would be a y-intercept, uh, then three tons per kilogram would be the amount of fertilizer, uh, the uh, coefficient for fertilizer used. Then for average temperature in degrees Celsius, we might have a negative 0.54 tons per degree Celsius. And what that means is that the higher the temperature, the less potatoes will be yielded. Um, and then for the rainfall, it might be 0.04 tons per millimeter. Now, to finish up, what I wanted to say is that this we won't be using this example in our practical tutorials it'll be a different example it'll be fun and interesting example as well but if you wanted to learn more about potatoes and specifically the applications of multiple linear regression here's a research paper that you might be interested in uh, it's called the application of multiple linear regression and artificial neural network models for yield prediction of very early potato cultivators before harvest so uh, this paper combines uh, multiple linear regression and neural networks. It looks at two different ways of modeling them. Um, of course, you can just focus on the multiple linear regression if you like. It's quite an interesting read and it can give you some additional deeper <laughs> knowledge into the world of harvesting potatoes and multiple linear regression there. Other than that, enjoy the practical tutorials with Adlan and I'll see you back here next time. Until then, enjoy machine learning.